Hello, this is Lee Walton, professor, and this is part seven of the lecture series on viruses and virus structures. So the icosahedral symmetry uh, is represented or characterized by, as I said, a twofold axi axis, five and threefold axis. Uh, if you were to place a single asymmetric unit, asymmetric subunit, into the space governed by icosahedral symmetry and then operated on it with the symmetry axes, you get 59 others. That means there's 60 locations in all that are related to each other by these various symmetry axes, these symmetry operations. And so a particle with icosahedral symmetry will have 60 subunits. What I flashed in here is a sort of schematic representation of what might be a protein subunit to suggest that a small particle with 60 protein subunits appropriately interface with each other can uh, form an icosahedral structure. Now, this is indeed a schematic representation, purely a schematic representation of a parvovirus. Parvovirus is one of actually the smallest examples we have with a semi-protein subunit underscaling that has a small shell, and 60 of them decorate or assembly around that shell, as suggested here. So, if we were to take slightly a closer look at that subunit in a traditional ribbon diagram representing the fold of the pelipid.